my name's Graham Wilson. Um, I'm here with the Graham Wilson Quartet. Um, I lead the band and I play tenor saxophone with this, with this ensemble. <laughs> This is a jazz quartet playing original tunes that we want people to leave the room whistling as they go. Um, the soloing's there to try and spin out stories um, and drawing on the music that we all love to play with other bands and that we know that other people listen to as well as jazz, so it's a broad mix of styles. The band's currently based in Newcastle and um, that was where we, we came together. I was living in Newcastle for uh, quite a while where I met Andy Champion, Paul Edison, Adam Sinclair with the other members. Um, we've been going since 2012, um, so that's coming up, in, uh, coming up for three years now. Um, up till now all our gigs have been in the North East and, and Newcastle Gateshead area. Um, you may also tell from my accent, I'm from a bit further north than that and I've, I've recently moved back up to Edinburgh, um, but all our work's based there and that's where the band kind of operates out of. The band's very much a jazz quartet, it's tenor saxophone, double bass, piano and drums, but we're, we're trying to um, bring to that, um, although we have jazz sensibilities, trying to draw on the music that we play in other areas, so we've got enthusiasms for prog rock, for classical music, for soul and world music, and a bit of free improvisation, so the, the tunes are written with that in mind. What I love about this quartet and why I wanted it to, to happen is just the way that the other three play. Um, and Andy and Paul and Adam are just a fantastic rhythm section to play with, and I'd already played with them quite a lot in their own bands and other bands around the North East, but never with the three of them in combination. Um, so that's that's a bit of a dream come true for me. But also, um, I, I'm, I'm very keen on writing music as well, and I try to write a lot, and I think unless you have your own vehicle, you know, I'd written tunes for other people's bands, but they're writing their own stuff as well. So the, the idea for this band was very much to, to allow me to, to write more and try out different things.
recently, um, we have one, one EP out of four tunes we recorded a couple of years ago, um, and we've just recently done another recording session which that we're hoping to, to bring out as an album, um, partly to support the tour and to, to make sure that people have access to the latest tunes that we're playing. Um, we'd like we'd like to devote the next year to, to playing as much as possible around the north of England and then starting to move further afield, um, trying to raise the band's profile through media appearances as well. So we'll be trying to get the music played on radio and television appearances. I got, I mean, I, I was, I was sent to, to music lessons from an early age on piano and violin, which are instruments I've never really come to terms with. Um, by the time I was a teenager, I was all the all the music in the charts that I was listening to had, had you know seemed to feature brass sections and brass instruments, and I saw the saxophone, um, and my family were still very keen that I play something, so I said, well, I want to, I want to play that, and one day I'll be on top of the pops playing it. So. I think once you start playing the saxophone, you're, caught, you're inevitably drawn to jazz because that's where you can have the most fun, where you get to do most things. You know, if you play in a rock band, you spend a lot of time sitting, sort of dancing badly on stage. So, uh, so this is that's kind of how I ended up doing this. Being on Jazz North's Northern Line scheme has been very exciting for us, um, partly or primarily because of the attention it brings. I mean, people stand up and take notes and say, oh, you're one of the bands in the Northern Line scheme. So we know that it's something that a lot of people are looking out for. As I was saying, we've been doing, I think, very well in, in the North East and we're, we're building up an audience there and we're known, but we've, we've been finding it quite difficult to make that leap to, to moving around and to and further afield. And the, the extra support from this and the kind of attention it brings you from promoters is a great way to, to go about doing that and we're, we're very keen to make sure that these tunes get heard further afield. I think when audiences come to see us, I'd like to think that they go away feeling that they recognise something in the music, that whatever they listen to, because I know that it's important jazz isn't just for jazz fans, whoever they are, that you know, people listen to a huge range of music. So I would like to think that when they came to see us, they would go, oh, that sounds a bit like you know, this, these rock anthems I listen to or, or the, the kind of dance music that I like, and that there's a hook in there that they can recognise and take away. And, um, so, so they come back and see us again, basically, and see other jazz bands. Mm -hmm. 